2008 was supposed to be a breakout year for Cornelius Ingram. He was supposed to be one of Tim Tebow's favorite targets. And he was supposed to be one of the best tight ends in the country. But things don't always work out like they're supposed to. It was actually a one-on-one -on -one drill. And, you know, I was running a route against a um, defensive back. And I end up catching the ball. And as I'm catching the ball, my hands are up. And the defender kind of grabs the back of my shoulders. And my leg gets stuck in the ground. So the next day, you know, I was going in the training room to just to maybe get some ice or see what was, what was up with my knee. And our trainer was like, hey, maybe we should get an MRI. Once they told me, it was probably one of the most toughest things I ever had to deal with. The diagnosis, a torn ACL. So while his Florida Gators teammates were busy bringing home their second national championship in the last three years, Ingram spent the 2008 season rehabbing his knee. Two to two and a half hours a day, um, maybe five or six times a week. Ingram vowed that he'd be healthy by the NFL Combine and Florida's Pro Day, and he didn't disappoint. CI, as he's known to his teammates, ran the 40-yard dash in 4.53 seconds, erasing any doubts about his surgically repaired knee. Well, I'm just a blessed guy because, you know, like you said, it's not too many people that recover, you know, this fast. Ingram grew up about 30 minutes from Florida's campus here in the small town of Hawthorne, where he was a two-time All-State selection in both football and basketball. So when it came time to choose a place to watch the draft and wait to hear his name called, the decision was an easy one his hometown. What wasn't as easy was finding ways to pass the time while he waited to be drafted. Nine other tight ends were selected before Ingram, but finally in the fifth round the Philadelphia Eagles selected him with the 153rd pick overall. Once I got the call I talked to coach Andy Reid and you know I was, I was very excited um, but at the same time I was a little frustrated because I, I was thinking I, I probably should have went a little earlier but at the end of the day you know I can take care of all that stuff with my play on the field and that's what I plan on doing. Although it's been over a year since the last time he played a game, scouts love Ingram's size. He's six foot four and weighs 245 pounds and when he was playing back in 2007 Ingram created mismatches against defenses that often left opposing fans screaming mad. I know you know I'll be able to stretch the field Whenever they, they have me in there to block, I'm willing to do it. The Eagles are hoping that Ingram can return to his old form and become a dominant tight end in the NFL. And if he stays healthy, maybe this time things will turn out like they're supposed to. For Saints Tonight, I'm David Hamilton.